All right, I'm Beth Lane, and this is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst and Company, where we're catalysts in each other's lives as well as our own. And we work at or we be the artists we've always wanted to be. Behind me is a painting. Let me, let me just move this iPad in a little bit. Just a teensy bit. Okay. Behind me is a painting. It's actually a commission. Uh, something I was hired to do, and I was hired just before uh, the hurricane went through, before Ian went through. Uh, the woman that commissioned me is a friend, and uh, she, she said, let's go to Tampa and go to Dick Blick and pick up the supplies that you need. So we went, we went to Tampa. We got these two canvases. This is one painting, but of course on two canvases because that's how we roll. Um, it was a great day. I was really excited. Um, that was on the Saturday before Ian was supposed to hit. Um, I had to spend the next two days taking all my paintings, all of my belongings, and getting them up off the floor, three to four feet to five feet off the floor. Moved everything into this little room where we, where we, where we do the videos. And um, so... It was a big undertaking. There were this room was so packed. There was just a little walkway through with the paintings and everything. We went through the storm. That was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I was picked up by a friend. I went over to his house. He went to his ex-wife's house. Um, there was a whole there was like a Rubik's cube he kind of thing going on with people switching houses, and uh, I spent couple days at his house alone. It was awesome. And then got back here Thursday. Started putting everything back. Put all the all the paintings back. Uh, worked on that Thursday through Saturday morning. Saturday morning through no no worked on that Thursday Friday sorry. Thursday and Friday, unpacked the house, put everything, almost everything back. Friday, uh, at some point, my landlord showed up. Friday or Saturday, oh, I'm getting everything confused. Anyway, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I know we cleaned, we spent the time, those three days, cleaning up the yard and getting debris out of here, chopping up trees, you know, trees that have fallen and everything. So, Monday after the storm, Monday or Tuesday after the storm, anyway, I finally got these canvases out that we picked up in Tampa in Tampa the week before, prepped them with my black and white gesso, and got to work. I can't begin to tell you how uneasy I felt after all this. I felt discombobulated, un totally and completely uneasy and not ill at ease, let's put it that way. And it's been two, week, two weeks since the storm, and I'm still feeling a bit of upset and, and unease. Ill, Ill, I am ill at ease, let's put it that way. Ugh. Sorry, it's late, I'm just excited because two weeks after Ian hit, we finally have internet back. And I just wanna make a video because we've got internet back, I can use my iPad again, we can chit-chat, I can show you what I've done, and then tell you what an idiot I am. Um, so I got the, the two canvases for this commission ready, started working on it. The layout was good, so I thought. But the further and further and further I went with it, the more off it felt. It fully reflected my mental and emotional state in all of this. In, in this Ian mess that was created. I'm gonna grab my coffee. Okay, so. This really just, it started to reflect how I felt. It was, it was off and the more I worked on it, the more it became the physical, visual embodiment of how off I felt. This poor woman, this is the best she has looked in this entire time. 
uh, the woman who hired me was over this morning and I sat her down and I pulled out the canvases and I said, tell you what you see. And she said, well, it's a painting of my mother. And I said, yes, but tell me honestly what you see. And she said a couple of other night, vague, vaguely nice things. But then I finally said, tell me what you see. Because I want to know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. And she finally said, her head is too big. Ta-da! Ta-da! So we had a long chat about it because uh, we were discussing what, what I could do. Now keep in mind, I've already taken her head, which was pretty firmly over here, and moved it further and further over. So she's more in line. So she's more in line with her foot, where her foot should be. But her head is still too big. It is still disproportionate. So we talked about it and talked about it. And her suggestion, I said, we've got a couple of different things that we can do. And so we talked about the different, you know, options we had. And one of them was working on her, on this particular painting some more. But the problem is I've moved her face and I have wiped this section of the canvas down so much that it no longer has that knife, nice rife rough nice rough texture that I like in the canvases that I buy. Again, this is from Dick Blick. Michaels carries about the same quality canvas. They're, they are changing their gesso just a tad. They've changed gessos um, so it's acting just slightly differently, but they still, the, the, they both have the comparable texture that I like that grabs the paint and you can kind of play with it. You know, play with that rough texture with the paint and the brush. Well, this has been worn down. It's now glassine, it's, it's fairly smooth, and I can't play with light the way I like to. I like to play with uh, glossy paint against very, very dry oils. And because this is now glassine, all she does is not even glow the way the glossy paint does, she just, she goes flat. She goes flat in not a good way. She's just all gloss. She is just a total all gloss and glare. So in the mix, in the options that, that I gave her, that I presented to her, uh, we just decided I'm going to start a new canvas. So I think I took it down, but I have a, I have a same one canvas, although this is two, I have one 48 by 48 which is comparable to this size. It is not going to be two canvases, which is my favorite, but I think it's going to work out better. I've done the layout once, well, actually about 50 times, if you count how many times I had to change her face, the stance of her, the shape of her arms, where her foot was, and the bicycle to fit all this in more like 50 times, but I've already laid it out, so I know. I know where I'm gonna go. But I'm gonna be really careful about the head this time. Now, I do, when I do commissions, I am communicating, or when I have done communi uh, commissions, um, I have communicated with the people that have hired me, because I don't wanna be like, do it, you know, in the dark, and here you go, and I'm going to keep it a total secret until I just deliver it to your door, and then surprise, you may or may not have something you like. Um, I tend to be pretty communicative with people online, showing on Facebook, on Instagram, in the videos. Um, I have stopped taking commissions, except for this one, because the last couple didn't work out well, and there are people that I care very, very deeply about but they just, I don't know, something about the quality and my anxiety over doing them. Just, I'm not sure I want to do them anymore. So this is one of the last ones I will have been doing. But I still want to make sure, and if you're going to take commissions, I want you to keep this in mind, that it's, it's not just all about you. It is about, it's not all about your magical talent, your glitter, your unicorniness. 
It is about you showing respect, you, the artist, showing respect to the customer as well as the reference material. Now, I very, it's very likely I could have gotten away with just finishing this up and shipping it over to her house and that would have been it. But that would have been, meant the end of the relationship as well. She no longer would have um, held me as dearly as she does. And that's very important to me, the relationship. She never, no longer would have had the respect for me that she says that she has or my artwork or abilities. So if you're going to take commissions, this is something you have to keep in mind. It's not just about how, how you view your own work and how fabulous you are and look, I came close. Got to hold it in your heart that this is a deep relationship built on respect. And that's why, that's hopefully why you're being hired. I hope you're not being hired just because you're the cheapest artist in the room. And, you know, somebody wants to pay you $100 to spend, you know, a couple of weeks doing an image for them or whatever. It should. It's all about respect and respect from both parties and also respect for the reference material. You know, we gotta get it right. I'm not sure I said what I meant to say other than, hi, I have internet again and I'm an idiot, idiot who painted a bobblehead. I took somebody's mom and made her into a bobblehead. She's now gonna be painted over and I'm probably gonna do two landscapes instead and take the canvases, turn them and forget this mess ever happened. But I do like the bicycle. This is pretty cool. This is a World War II, World War II motorized bike, which I think is fantastic. It's just so, it's so industrial. You can really feel uh, wartime Paris, I think, in there. Or po just post, just post wartime Paris. We're gonna do it again, and we're gonna do it right this time. Okay? Try. I've got two backup campuses, just in case. All right, I'm Beck Lane, and this is Catalyst and Company. If you'd like to help support Catalyst and Company, huh, because we have internet, now all the links will be posted down below, including Cash App, PayPal, TeePublic, Patreon, where I'm really sorry, I'm deeply uncommunicative but also deeply appreciative of the support. Um, and then something else. There's also links to uh, my galleries if you'd like to get a hold of any, uh, if you'd like to find out pricing and info, you can call Jay Louise at Blue Egg Gallery, uh, Mark and Andrew at Chasen Galleries, and Rafael Coelho at Art Front Galleries in New Jersey. All that information is down below. All right, Carrie, I saw you post something on Facebook today, so I know you're still alive. Mwah. Yay! All right, ciao. Here we go. Ciao. Meow, meow, meow. Boink.